teens and teeny boppers, boys and bobby sockers. Welcome to the R-O-C-K Rock Rock and Roll Radio I Station. I know how I remember that. That was my line from like the fifth grade play. Um, holla at me when you can act like that. No, I'm totally kidding. But uh, hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part 15 of Let's Play The Sims 4. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the Monette household. Alrighty guys, and welcome back to some more Sims 4 gameplay. Uh, so here we are currently with Jose. It is about 7 a.m. early in the morning. You know, nothing too, too special. Uh, oh, and his needs are really, really good. Good! I don't have to take care of him. My day is made. And it looks like he's making some healthy green tea, which ugh, I can go for right now. I actually had like a horrible experience this morning. I was like, you know what? Have a cup of coffee. Treat yourself to you know, some vanilla yumminess. And I was like, yes, I'm gonna do it. I made it and I tasted it. I made it my Keurig. Something's wrong with my Keurig. I took a sip of it. It literally tasted like roasted ass i was like what did you do it was horrible i like spit it out and i was like the one morning i try to make myself start off with a cup of coffee this happens actually it looks like katrina had the baby because she here she is meeting up with the parker caliente which is her grandson actually <laughs> kind of funny that her grandson's like I don't know, a teenager, and she just had a baby. <laughs> ah, evolution. Alrighty, so where is little baby Drake? Today's actually his birthday. It's kind of crazy. You guys are probably going to get a little creeped out when he ages up, um, because he's not going to sprout into, like, a little, you know, toddler. He's going to, I, I guess, sprout up to be a child, and I find that a little creepy, you know? That's how real life went. I don't know if I could handle that. I really don't. Um, I'm going to have Jose come out here and dig these up. What is he doing right now? Oh, he's off at work. What am I talking about? He had work. And uh, Candace, when do you have work? In three days. Holla. Seriously, holla. And Drake is asleep. Uh, somebody was in the comments was like, oh, no, he's not. Somebody was like, you should really check Drake's needs. And unfortunately you can't um which i mean is kind of realistic but yeah you can't they just cry like real babies when they're newborns you don't know what the hell they want they just cry actually newborn babies are a lot better than toddlers just saying they eat sleep and poop it's great His dirty- he still has a dirty diaper? Oh no, that's Candace. She actually is the one that smells horrible. Awkward moment when. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna shush him and uh, feed him. Get them interactions up and the relationship going. Oh, he's actually cute. I want a little pixel baby. Like a Neopet, but like baby form. Let me have it. A Tamagotchi, but baby form. I'm sure they have that too. A baby alive, but I don't... Those are so creepy. Not gonna lie, though, I did have a couple uh, baby lives. Um, and they were pretty realistic. They, they like, legit pooped. Those were the bomb.com. <laughs> they really were. But I'm gonna have her go ahead and go take a shower. Drake is okay now, which is good. And then I'm gonna have her come over here into the kitchen and... Go ahead and cook something up. I think this morning we are going to make some omelets. We'll make a family size, you know, for leftover purposes. Uh, because those are always really, really handy. You know, those mornings where you're like, hmm, cereal, yogurt, toaster pastry, nah, omelets. That's why we do that. Um, Because I know in my house... Pff, we barely have food, let alone leftovers, because, like, we veg out or pig out, actually. What happens is we go food shopping, and it's like, oh, my God, new snacks. I'm so happy. Oh, my gosh, gushers? No way. And then we eat everything in one day, and then we're foodless for, like, a week and a half. It's horrible, <laughs> but it is whatever. All right, so we are making some omelets. All right, and those look uh, very dog puke-ish. <laughs> I'm like not a fan of scrambled eggs. I don't know why. Like I overate them when I was a kid, so 
they just scare me now um and let's see she has low fun so go watch some tv girl go channel surf a little bit actually go on the computer i mean this is what i would do for fun screw the tv i would watch tv and play on the computer actually we're going to oh a novice tournament <gasps> a sims forever tournament girl you go do that right now i want you feel as confident from uh what why delicious food good for you candace look at her and her delicious food actually hold on candace go pee before you go play oh and we already entered the competition well first go pee like a champion okay and then go game and hopefully her feeling confident will actually improve her her performance when it comes to her little tournament uh let's hope she does a little bit better than normal i'd really really love that but yeah, she's going to go play some video games. So imagine like people competing in The Sims. Like, oh, whose needs go up the fastest? <laughs> like, who can hook up with Dawn before anybody else? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it would go, to be honest. But apparently this is a competition. I want to play The Sims 1. That's honestly, I think, my favorite um my favorite platform of it i don't know of the game it's just the classic there's something about it that's oh uh oh and the computer broke in the middle of it clearly she did not win are you kidding me all right candace you know what to do go ahead and get to repairing i actually need to bring my computer in tomorrow <gasps> hate it um and she didn't even get her fun up all the way and i spent like 40 simoleons just trying to get in that tournament are you freaking kidding me all right well we're good i guess we're going to just <laughs> play some sims forever because clearly that tournament was like a death sentence for us and we just should not enter it again um but we'll scavenge through that to find some parts for you know some future upgrades can we upgrade the computer i think that would be awesome i don't know if we can but she's feeling rather happy now, which is good. I'm actually going to have her go ahead and look for some new recipe ideas on the web. Um, I, I don't know. She's a little chef to be, so I'm sure that would be highly, highly enjoyable for her. It kind of looks... Oh, and the baby's crying. I could hear you, Drake, from the whole other room. Let's go ahead and change his dirty diaper. Beat him again. Rock him and make a silly face. Oh, and Jose is now home. He made 800 and... Oh, he got a promotion. Jose has been promoted to module cleaner. He now makes an additional 8 simoleons per an hour with a grand total of 34 simoleons per an hour. He made a... Oh, he got a bonus of 581 simoleons. Sorry about that. And he got an astral solar system light. Hmm good to know we'll have to check that out that i've always been really interested 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 in space <laughs> interested in space um something about it I, I that's like my favorite subject is study in science and all of that good stuff which kind of sucks because after you enter like high school you don't really learn about it anymore um unless you take like at least in my school that's how it went unless you took like a certain course for it he works monday through fridays and 12 p.m through 9 p.m so his hours are a little bit later which i mean i don't really mind um let's see and here it is here's my little astro light it's effing adorable uh we could actually put it in drake's room for when he ages up why not now put it right over the crib enjoy that drake papa got you that and we actually have some good quality mac and cheese okay well it's a plate never mind but we have some pan fried tilapia in there, which is actually about to go spoiled. We're just gonna clean it up, both of them. <laughs> Nothing too yummy about these. All right. And Drake will actually be aging up shortly, so we might as well just age him up now. After we feed him and everything and bounce him a little bit, we're going to age him up, and I hope you guys are ready for this. Um, I'm very scared, but uh, let's go ahead and watch this little newborn baby sprout into a grown child okay guys um and so we hopefully get that expansion pack or dlc that <laughs> i also want all right candace move 
Oh gosh. The bassinet just shook. Mama? And there he is. Awkward moment when he comes out with Katrina's freaking hair color. Did we get like the wrong baby? <laughs> what? Childhood, boundlessness, creativity, rule breaking, and tam temper tantrums await. Let the games begin. Okay. Katniss Evergreen. No, um, let's see. We are going to make him, hmm, he can be a whiz kid. This sim wants to be the smartest kid in the school, a social butterfly. Your sim wants to talk and meet everybody, an artistic prodigy, hmm, and a rambunctious, rambunctious, ram, I can from bunch goes, I don't know. <laughs> um, stamp. I think this sim wants to be playful and nimble. I think we're going to go ahead and pick that one because me. That's me. And we can actually choose a trait. He's going to be a goofball. I love how he came out with Katrina's hair. Can we just take a second to... Oh my gosh, he is so freaking cute. He is so cute. He is seriously adorable. He's like, he looks like a little model. I effing love him. He really does look like a little model. Definitely a good combination between his parents. He got his dad's, I'm going to say his dad's like profile. Because Candace has that like little E.T. face. And um, he definitely got his dad's profile, his dad's nose. But Candace's beautiful freaking eyes and her little lips love it he's a little haughty okay now before you guys take that and use that against me like he's a like he's like eight years old i mean it in like a non bad way okay guys i mean it in the mod the most modest way possible but we're gonna actually head in here and change his appearance and um hopefully you know maybe change his hair to i don't know i kind of like that his hair came out red it's different you know I don't know. Look how effing cute he is. I'm in love with him. I really am in love with this kid. Um, and I love his hair. We could change it to brown. Make him more like Jose. But I kind of like that his hair came out red. It's like rare. Who would have thought, right? Yeah, we're keeping this hair. That is so cute. Um, any hats? We can put a wiener hat on him. Or we can put like a little hat on him uh, these little animal hats these will actually change how your sim is feeling and can help out with skill building and make them feel depressed if you want to make them feel depressed um so we might eventually just have to put that on him like an inspired chicken he will feel very inspired um what is this one an angry lion he will feel angry we have a dazed bear which he will feel dazed <laughs> Energized Owl. Come on, you guys know this all. Um, this cat, this not cat, this is clearly a cat, everybody. You know, this cow hat is just to look fabulous. Um, we have a tiger, which is a hysterical tiger. And a sad panda. Aww. But, um, yeah, he's too cool for hats. Not happening. Even though hats are probably the coolest thing right now. Just saying, like... Hats and, uh, hats and watches and eyebrows are, like, what's happening right now. No, but I think we're just going to change his outfit. Um, but I think he is an adorable, adorable mini sim. I want my kid to look like that. But let's be real. My kid will probably look like... I don't even know. Probably, like, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Just throwing that out there. And I feel bad. What if, like, my kid ever watches my videos and he's like, Mom told me I was gonna look like Stitch, do I? I'd be like, ooh, yes. Okay, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is have him head over here and change his clothing. Can he, well, is that in the way? No, it's not. Okay, cool. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give him some new clothing. I kinda like this. I think this is really, really cute. Um, huh. Oh, I can give him a little leather jacket. Oh my God, he can be my, my little rebel oh i'm doing it screw it screw society i'm doing it no i'm kidding but oh i'm so excited he's so cute he's gonna be like my little rebel boy oh i love it um and for his shoes he'll have like oh i don't know he's gonna have like little loafers on because he's too cool for sneakers 
I'm in love with him. Um, let's see, accessories. We'll give him like a braided wrist band, which you guys can't even see, unfortunately. Um, I love him <laughs> for his formal attire. He will wear, of course, a little button up. Um, let's see, athletic wear. He needs to, he'll be rocking an all black tee with uh, some basketball shorts and some sneakers that are black and white. Actually, on his shorts. They don't really have a good selection for these shorts, unfortunately, which I don't really care about. It's his athletic wear, who, who cares? And some little socks. Oh, he's so damn cute. I could smother him. Um, <laughs> and let's see, for, oh, I could take it off. Take it off. Um, for his sleepwear, let's go ahead and put him in these little dino undies. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. And his party wear. Yeah, he's going to wear that, guys. No, he's going to wear his little leather jacket because that's what he does. Um, let's go ahead and put his jeans on him and his little loafers. Look at my adorable freaking kid. I'm in love with him. I don't know why I love Drake so much, but he's like my inspiration of the day. Yesterday was Kris Jenner, but, you know, today is... Drake Monette. All right. I think he's adorable. I've said it like a million times because I think he's effing like I think the cutest kid I've ever had. Agree to disagree, but uh, I friggin love this kid. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys little Drake's bedroom. It's really simple in all honesty. It's I, I wish I could have done more with it, but you know, I feel like we're really, really limited on decoration and curtains and all of that stuff. So that's one thing I really do want to see EA push in the next expansion pack or DLC or whatever it is, is definitely um, decorations and stuff like that because I feel like we're really, really lacking, especially with the curtains. Don't even get me started. I am so pissed because I really feel like these curtains do not match and there's no like black curtains that I I wanted to use so I had to use these ones so hopefully I can find some custom content to replace these or something I don't know uh, but then I also put a bookshelf right here um, you know purchase books open clean up books read read something it's just it's cute modern really love it a little bedside table and lamp and then right here is actually where we get a little fancy with some new objects of course i have uncle noah's picture right here which i'm sure drake doesn't really appreciate it in his little rebel room but uh i did go ahead and put two objects for children we have the creative art thou activity table which is pretty much you know a drawing station painting whatever you want to do uh, it will increase the children's creativity skill and also their fun, so I think that's pretty neat. And then there's this one right here. Both of these are for children only, by the way. Uh, the Junior Wizard Starter Set. It is a mental skill and also will bring your fun up and, of course, children only. So, you know, he can work on those skills right there his mental and creativity skill which i'm very excited about so here are just some of the interactions we can experiment right here and then we can also go ahead and draw shapes and everything so as we enhance our creativity skill i'm sure we can begin to sh uh, blah, 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 draw different things and also i'm sure you know once we start enhancing our mental skill we can also continue to learn different things about this station right uh, here it'll be my first time ever experiencing those well I've, I've experienced this right here the art thou creative station but i've not experienced the wizard kit um but i actually played one day off camera and i will tell you guys what i did uh jose got a promotion he is now a technician which is pretty cool uh he now makes 54 simoleons per an hour and his gift for getting that promotion was this little astro rocket um model right there which is really really nice and he now works from 1 p.m to 9 p.m uh, Candace worked on the garden a little bit, and Drake actually, um, he went to the park with his mom, and, oh, okay, so his school performance, he is currently a grade school C student, 
um, let's see, to increase his performance, he needs to attend school while energized. Uh, so I think in the morning, I am going to put the energized hat on him and get two skills to level four. So we will have to work on these two skills to get him, I guess, his little grade promotion. And also, um, because he is a rambunctious uh, scamp, he needs to dance for two hours and play on a jungle gym while playful. So we'll have to get all of that done for him. But when he went to the park with his mom, he actually met uh, two friends. We have Alexis Orlando and uh, Jace Pelletier. So we made two friends and I definitely want them to get to know each other a little bit so they can have some uh, friendships and all of that. And I also actually went and met Noah's baby, which I will show you guys in the next part. And it's a girl and her name's Nadine and she's super cute and oh, so cute. Um, but I will definitely be hanging out with Nadine a lot because I think it's kind of, it's kind of nice. I don't know. Definitely want her to be friends with Drake and all of that good stuff. So, uh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this part and I will see you all next time. Alrighty guys. Bye guys. <laughs>